Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be going over the SB360 Capital Partners LLC and Hilco Fixed Asset Recovery Hilco Global Liquidations as of Monday, May 15th, 2023. So these are currently all the liquidations that are going on. So in terms of the Sears stores, I've gone over it in a previous video. So we have Sears Home Appliances in Fort Collins, Colorado, Sears Home and Life in Overland Park, Kansas, Sears Home and Life in Lafayette, Louisiana, the Sears Full Line Store in Greensboro, North Carolina, Sears Appliance and Mattress in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, and Sears Appliance and Mattress in Far, Texas. Now, everything on this list, with the exception of Greensboro, will be closing on Sunday, June 18th of 2023, and the Greensboro, North Carolina location will be closing either Sunday, May 21st of 2023, or Sunday, May 28th of 2023. So in addition, the other liquidations going on right now with SB360 Capital Partners, LLC, the J.C. Penney stores in Oswego, New York, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, and, and Elkhart, Indiana, all these three JCPenney stores will be wrapping up liquidation sales on Sunday, May 21st, 2023. And again, SB360 likes to coordinate everything together in terms of closings, so this does not come as a uh, surprise in particular. Um, so in addition to that liquidation, we have Old Time Pottery um, in Destin, Florida, and Bonita Springs, Florida. These are probably also expected to be closing um, by the end of May of 2023. And in addition to that, we also have the Transform Co. relocation sale, which is pretty much just a bunch of fixtures inside the old Transform Co. or Sears Holdings HQ in Hoffman State, Illinois. They're still trying to liquidate stuff in the HQ. It's unbelievable. This should have been done about a year ago, but I guess because the value of Sears is just so incredibly low, you know, they want to try and get pretty much anything, any money for any product inside the Sears HQ, which will pretty much just go back into um, keeping the company afloat, which is just very sad at this point. So, and then mean, and then in the meantime, with Hillco Global or Hillco Fixed Asset Recovery liquidations that are going down, is they're in the final days for Nordstrom Rack Canada, um, weekends only furniture, unlimited furniture and land within an effort with over at SB360, and then in addition to that, there's also liquidations at Nordstrom Canada, Bed Bath and Beyond, Bye Bye Baby, and then also in addition, which they don't have here, a national pharmacy chain which they do not have here, which Hilco is also doing as well, is Tuesday morning. So lots of liquidations going on, and obviously there's a lot more companies that could potentially be coming in the next um, couple of days. We've seen announcements of David's Bridal, um, that's teetering, which they're probably the next most likely candidate for Hilco. Um, Hilco is liquidating 10 Christmas tree shops locations. Um, and the other one is Party City. I don't know if who Party City signed on with, but they have announced um, additional store closing. So there are a lot of companies right now that Hillco is trying to secure um, because a lot of these companies are in distress and they will be the ones that will be making the bid. And ultimately, that's just the co this company stepping in and pretty much helping with the wind down operations of all these distressed companies currently. So that's it. Pretty much those are all the liquidations that are going down with both SP360 Capital Partners LLC and as well as Hillco Global. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Link to both Hillco's website and as well as SP360's website will be located in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching and that will be it.